Hi, I'm Colin Jordan, and we are here at the Boiler Room, my music mastering studio in Chicago, Illinois. I've been doing this for 10 years now, and I've had this studio for about five. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the mastering equipment that I use here in the studio. These are the Dunlavy SC4As. These are the main monitors that I use here for mastering. Uh, as you notice, they are six feet tall, 250 pounds a piece, and they are sitting on 500 pounds of limestone for two reasons. One is to decouple them from the floor, and the other is they were originally designed as audiophile speakers, so the tweeters are a little low for uh, a working position, so I needed to raise them up to ear height. The thing about these speakers is that they are very flat, and very even, but they still rock. There are a lot of speakers out there that are extremely flat and extremely detailed, but they're a little bit boring to listen to for whatever reason. These, I found they had a nice balance, um, but I enjoyed listening to them, which is, which is nice when you're sitting here all day long listening to music through them. They're actually designed as audiophile home listening speakers, but they are very popular in mastering studios too. Um, they duplicate the drivers, uh, the mid-range and the woofer. Um, one of the things about this speaker is that it is an acoustically sealed design. It doesn't have a port. One of the things about the port is it gives you a little bump in the bass before it rolls off, which has a, an effect of making it seem like the speaker uh, goes down lower in the low end than it actually does. Um, one of the disadvantages of an acoustically sealed design is that it has low, less of this low bass effect. So then what you have to do is build them six feet tall, and that's how you end up getting the low end out of them. These can be a little tricky when you first start listening to them because they are so flat in the low end, but they go down so low. So it's kind of unlike anything you've really ever heard um, and it took me a couple months to get very used to them. So this is one thing where my clients have to trust me because the bass in here shouldn't just sound completely powerful and overwhelming. It should just be very even. You hear the mid-range, you hear the high end, and you hear the bass. You're used to hearing systems with a, a bass emphasis, whether it's in a port or maybe you've got the loudness button turned on or somebody's got the bass all the way up. This is very important in mastering because you want your signal to be as flat as possible. Um, otherwise, you're not gonna know what you're hearing and maybe you have a little too much bass or you have not enough bass because of some kind of skewed presentation you're getting from your speakers. Basically, the, the mastering studio, the monitors are probably the most important piece of gear that you have. Now, I think this is true in a recording and mix studio, too. It's unfortunate that a lot of times it's overlooked, and people tend to go kind of cheap with their monitors. They'll spend mega bucks on Pro Tools HD and then have, you know, a $500 pair of speakers. And it's really not a good idea because this really is your window into what you're doing. And so if you're looking through a stained glass window, you're going to have a hard time making some kind of informed judgment about what's on the other side. 